Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In today's episode, we are going to be practicing some touch and go landings in the Savage Cub. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright everybody, so welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. And today we are out at Mills Post, getting ready to practice uh, some other videos. And uh, we got some pretty neat content that I found today on Flight Sim.2 that we're going to be talking about in a later video. But today I decided I just sort of wanted to practice flying the Savage Cub around and practice some touch and go landings. Uh, we have an interesting approach into Runway 5. Um, as we have to cross over some trees at a very close altitude. So they're kind of challenging. We're going to try some just basic approaches to see if we can do some main wheel landings um, as well as uh, doing the three point landings and then we're going to take a look at some forward slips. So let's just see what we can accomplish here. I have a real hard time with tail draggers as I tend to bounce them a lot. I always tend to bounce them. So today we're going to see if we can't nip some of that in the backside. So let's see here. I feel like I'm really close to the cockpit here. Let's back out. There we go. All right. It's interesting because it looks like I'm getting stuttering on my screen, and yet we're at 65, 70 frames per second on average. All right, so let's go first. Oh, we're already at first phase stage. My bad. Didn't realize I'd already hit it. So there's our approach line right over there. We're not going to worry about straight in approaches. We are doing a right hand circuit though instead of left hand. All right, let's see what our airspeed is here. We're at a 130, but we can dump that real quick. That is the neat part about this little uh, aircraft is it'll pick up speed and bleed it just as fast. So we're going to use that little entryway over the trees right there as our sort of approach line today. Don't want to hit the trees, so we're going to make sure we clear over that. And we're going to try for just a two-point landing, a main wheel landing. Now you're supposed to just fly it in. So, fly it to the ground. And there we go. Oh, and there's the bounce. Alright, let's go back to flaps one. Full power. Dance that rudder a little bit. And we're up again. A beautiful area, isn't it? Oh, no, that opens the choke, doesn't it? We don't want the choke open. We want the choke back. And this is a good tail dragger to learn off of because it's not quite as difficult as some of the others. But uh, I found myself wanting to fly my Corsair again after a very long time and oh man was I bombing bad so I figured we'd get into something a little lighter and simpler and uh, just sort of get the basics back down with landing a tail dragger plus this is a really neat approach here it's quite challenging if you come in from this direction I enjoy it quite a bit alright so let's pull flaps one back in start pulling some of that power off we're going to try another main wheel The idea is just to set those two main wheels down real gently and then pull the power off and let the tail wheel come down. And Well, I seem to be having with that core concept full flaps. 
This is a very steep approach, which doesn't help, but again, I'm trying to keep it challenging. I make my base turn a little early, or final turn a little early, because I like to use this gap in the two trees right in front of the nose there as a perfect uh, visual reference for where I want to bring it in. This really is a beautiful little area here. Alright, pulling power off. Come on, here we go. Easy. Yeah, a little bounce again. Damn it. All right, flaps one. Power and run. And 50 knots. We are airborne. The airspeed just jumps. Although. We might be in kilometers per hour, that might be why. That would make more sense. Yeah, definitely. That's gotta be kilometers. I didn't even realize that. You know, it's funny too, because I was just sitting here thinking a couple minutes ago, I'm like, man, this thing's fast. Like, that is cooking, right? KMH makes way more sense. Alright, so we're gonna try one more main wheel. And then we'll switch to the three-point. Hopefully the three-point I can get a little bit better. And then after that, we'll take a look at forward slips. Forward slips are fun. Really, I'm really starting to, to like them. You can drop a ton of altitude very quickly, bleed off a ton of speed, uh, while still maintaining uh, a good flight. It really depends on what you want to do with it. But the biggest thing is dropping altitude. You can lose a ton of altitude, I'm sorry, without losing a ton of speed. Or gaining a ton of speed, I should say. Alright, flaps one. There's our little gap in the trees right there. Make my base turn a little later this time. Or a little long in the final. right above them trees, man. Alright, I'm dumping the power. Nose down. And let's pull her up. And let her float. That was a little better. Definitely getting better. That wasn't too bad. Alright. And let's go. You know what? I should have had a sky dolly going. Up. All right, so here we're going to try just three-point landings. While we're gaining some altitude, let me see if I can very quickly get Sky Dolly up and running. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, Sky Dolly, where are you? Okay. Okay, we're ready. Just need to remember to hit record when we get on the approach here. place to start recording. Oh, apparently we have some aft nose trim. Alright, pulling some power back. Flaps coming in. There's flaps one. Flaps as we turn final. And this time we're going to go for a three point. And 
now that makes more sense let's look for a nice approach speed of about 60 kph and there we go yeah stable all right same thing clear those tree lines nose down power off Nose up. Let her bleed, let her bleed. Not too bad. Uh, still had main wheels first. And let's see what Sky Dolly had to say about that situation, shall we? So here we are right here. Ah, uh, flared a little early. Oof. Sort of dropped that tail wheel down pretty hard, didn't we? Alright, so climbing out. Making sure our view saved. All right, recording is going. Just flaps one in. Like I said, this thing will bleed airspeed so fast. Flaps two, or full flaps, I should say. All right, let me try that one more time. Let's see if I can wait a little bit longer. I think 70 kmh is kph. Alright, power off, nose down. Alright, and... Nope, did the same thing. Did the same thing. Flaps one, full power. All right, so on this one, we're gonna try a couple of forward slips, just to mess around, have some fun. So forward slips are a lot of fun, especially for one like this. Because like I said, you can dump a lot of altitude very quickly. So we'll just sort of use uh, pilot's discretion here as far as what type of landing we do as we come out of the slip. Flaps one rolling in early this time. I 
want to stay a little high. And we're going to do uh, nose left, aileron right. Stump full flaps in there. online here all right so we're gonna go hard nose left hard left rudder right right aileron to compensate so there's left rudder and notice you maintain airspeed Oof, a little hard on that one. <laughs> you know, the, honestly, with the forward slips, the Savage Cup may be just uh, a little too light. And, of course, I forgot to hit the recording on that one. Really took a lot to get her to start falling out of the sky. Let's try one more of those. One more here. start out by getting our recording going. There we go. Flaps one. Two. There we go. That one actually felt half decent. Ah, uh, there we are right here. Oh my gosh, look at that angle of attack. Like flying it like a kite. Yeah, I think it's a little too light to really do a good forward slip with because it just sort of cruises like it doesn't care what angle you put it at. <laughs> Not a bad landing. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I certainly had some fun. Uh, I just wanted to get up and mess around a little bit today. No major uh, tutorials or videos, or things like that. We do have some really cool, awesome stuff coming in tomorrow, so make sure you keep an eye on the channel. Real world flight training for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So uh, that should be rather interesting. So uh, stick around for that, guys. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun just uh, getting up and tooling around for a little bit without any real rhyme or reason today. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.